The topic is HIV and AIDS, a Street Works update. And of course, we're talking to the executive director of Street Works, uh, Mr. Ron Crowder. Uh, Mr. Crowder, now, the organization that you're in charge of is uh, Street Works, and that's a very, very significant organization that grew out of a need that you have identified. But let's talk about the impact that this disease is having upon uh, individuals uh, uh, as well as upon the uh, health care system if there is uh, an oh. impact. <clears throat> well, I think the, the, the biggest impact uh, is that a person do have to change their lives. They have to change their behaviors mm -hmm. as it relates to uh, uh, high-risk behaviors or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it has a very big impact upon mm -hmm. our community as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you, you you hear people talking uh, about Magic uh, Magic Johnson, Johnson mm -hmm. and the reason he looks so well because he has money and, mm -hmm. and this type of thing. Well, what people in Tennessee need to know that anyone who's HIV infected in Nashville mm -hmm. has access to the same medications mm -hmm. that Magic Johnson has mm -hmm. access to because of ten care. Mm -hmm. Every drug that's on uh, HIV medication, uh, it's on the 10 care formulary. Mm -hmm. So they have access to all of those mm -hmm. drugs. Mm -hmm. Now, personally, HIV have a not impacted my life too, too, mm -hmm. too much. I, I uh, go on with life as, as, mm -hmm. as usual, you know. I, I was married a year or so ago mm -hmm. uh, to a very beautiful young lady. She's mm -hmm. not HIV infected mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, Mm -hmm. Now HIV has almost become a chronic illness. Okay, very, very. Uh, <clears throat> with, with proper care of yourself, mm -hmm. you can live a very normal mm -hmm. life. Uh, I think the main the main thing that we as a community need to know mm -hmm. that knowledge is power, mm -hmm. and people need to come in and get the knowledge. People are still uh, uh, having missed about how you can get mm -hmm. it and and people uh, still refuse to come into our offices mm -hmm. for fear that if they come into my office mm -hmm. to to get information mm -hmm. that someone gonna say well there goes somebody with AIDS and, mm -hmm. and that's not it mm -hmm. come in get the information mm -hmm. like I say knowledge is power mm -hmm. And uh, you, you need the information. You know, you mentioned this whole idea about education, education. I think that each time that we talk about this issue, that is the main uh, point that uh, I think you try to point out here. But now, uh, education, education. We've tried to educate. We've been educating folks for the last 10 or 12 years in reference to this disease. But it still seems that we are missing a large group. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons that you established street work Absolutely. so that you could uh, teach, uh, reach that group. What do we do in order to uh, 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 increase the uh, number of individuals that we are reaching with the message of education? Well, Dr. Haney, one of the things I, I, I really like to applaud you on is having me come in so we could have these type of uh, discussions to let people know it's okay you know, no matter, no one deserves HIV. Mm -hmm. There's no uh, innocent or guilty party in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. it, it makes no difference. No one deserves it. Mm -hmm. You know, they have uh, uh, this notion that if, you, if a baby is born with it, mm -hmm. they are innocent HIV person. Mm -hmm. Or if someone that was an IV drug user, mm -hmm. then they deserve what they get. Mm -hmm. Or if that person was participating in risky behavior mm -hmm. such as uh, 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 homosexual uh, or gay person. Mm -hmm. No, that's not true. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact of the matter is no one deserves mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, again, education is the key since there is no cure. Mm -hmm. You know, street works is involved in, ha is, uh, partnering with Vanderbilt as we speak and uh, the National Institutes of Health through a uh, 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 agency called Ogilvy mm -hmm. up in D.C. to do a uh, vaccine awareness and we can talk a little bit more mm -hmm. about that later but you know there's no cure mm -hmm. there's no vaccine as as of right now there's mm -hmm. no vaccine mm -hmm. and the thing is 
we just cannot get our community involved. It's like uh, the stigma, mm -hmm. the stigma that's, that's attached to, to HIV mm -hmm. is horrendous. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, now, now you mentioned the fact that it's it's, it's difficult to get uh, African Americans involved in recognizing the uh, issue. But now uh, you also, I think, uh, indicated that there is a great discrepancy between African Americans who have this disease and non-African Americans. Speak to that issue. Okay, right now we know that one in fifty African American men are infected with HIV. There's no if, and, and bust about that. Mm -hmm. We also know that one in 160 African-American women are infected with HIV. We know that African-American women or women of color mm -hmm. are 20 times more likely to get HIV than white women. Mm -hmm. We know that African-American men are eight times more likely to get HIV eight, than eight, eight Eight times mm -hmm. more likely than white men. Now, it's not because they're African Americans. Mm -hmm. It's be it's it's not who you are. Get it's what you do mm -hmm. gets you HIV infection. Mm -hmm. And let me say it one more time: it's not who mm -hmm. you oh. are, mm -hmm. but what you do. Mm -hmm. That's what gets you HIV mm -hmm. infection. A uh, white guy's uh, uh, risk is no higher than mine. Mm -hmm. It's that what I do as mm -hmm. opposed to what he do is what gets, mm -hmm. you, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the issue. So, so and now, now uh, we, we did a show not uh, quite recently dealing with childhood ob obesity and it all boiled down to uh, uh, individual responsibilities and individual decisions and et cetera. While that might not have been entirely, it's not entirely an individual decision because there are environmental factors and et cetera. But what you're saying here in reference to this disease is that uh, the same thing is true, that it's individual. if an individual does not wish to uh, contract this disease, then he does not do the three or four things that you mentioned. Absolutely. It's all in behavior mm -hmm. modification. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to change your behavior. Those behaviors which put you at risk for HIV infection, mm -hmm. whatever those behaviors may be, whether it be unprotected sex, multiple sex partners, mm -hmm. uh, sharing needles, mm -hmm. whatever they may be. That's, that's what it's all it, about. It, it, so it's, it's, it's really, uh, again, as we uh, make preparations for this second commercial break, it is still a behavioral kind of thing, and an individual Absolutely. can make a decision himself. Okay, Absolutely. and of course, we'll be uh, back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The topic is H.